Uh, just walking into the ballpark today, was it uh, was it hard not to think uh, of the last time you, you were here as a team and were, you, were any of those emotions competing with you today? Um, yeah, I mean, a, a little bit. I mean, obviously, you can't think about, can't help but think about the past sometimes, but obviously, um, you know, this is a new season, a, a new uh, new group of guys, and obviously our mission is to, um, you know, find a way to get back in this thing and, and play good baseball and, and try to get back in contention to make it to the postseason. So we've obviously got a work cut out for us, a long ways to go. But, um, you know, I thought we did a good job of staying focused tonight. We, we, we played a good game. I thought Nestor did a really good job um, putting up zeros and, and giving us a chance to get the lead. And um, our bullpen obviously did their thing. But, um you know, from time to time, you can't help but think about the past, but you got to be able to, you know, when the time comes, when the time is right, you got to be able to block that out and focus on the task at hand, which is just this game today, these nine innings. And I thought uh, overall we did a good job of that. Can next to Meredith? Just a couple games left before the break. Just how much of a boost is tonight's win for this team, considering the Astros came in playing some pretty good baseball? Yeah, I mean, you're talking about one of the best teams and one of the best teams in the American League. They have been playing well. And, um, you know, to go out to Seattle, they, those guys have been playing well, too, to go out there and win the series and obviously come here and win game one. You know, we all know what's at stake. We all know where we're at and, and where we're at in the season and with the break coming up and the trade deadline, obviously, only a few weeks away. So kind of have our backs up against the wall a little bit and just imperative to play good baseball, imperative to win the series and, um, you know, obviously – being able to take game one gives us a good chance to do it now. You mentioned Nestor Cortez and the job that he did. He's floated uh, around to several roles so far for you guys this season. Just what's impressed you most uh, about the way he's been able to find success, regardless of if he's coming out of the pen or serving as a starter? Yeah, I mean, when you're when you're thrown around kind of in different roles like he is, and maybe, um, you know, I think that, there's obviously a lot of different ways that, that he can be used, but he's he's accustomed to starting. He's accustomed to going going the distance and giving us length. And I thought that um, you know, no no job, no um, no moment is too big for him. He's a guy that's very very even keeled, works hard, always stays ready, and is prepared no matter what situation is. He's um, he's ready to go in and, and give us his best. So I thought he did a really good job of of keeping those guys off balance today early in the game. And that's um, you know, a really good lineup over there. And he. Um, he managed to he managed to go through them pretty easily a couple times and um, really I thought gave us a gave us a really really good boost there early in the game to to be able to jump out to a lead and hold on to it. Can you go back to Carly Rivera. No, you have it now. Still can't hear you. Sorry, Marley. Let's go back to Eric. <laughs> Brett, can you uh, take us through the uh, the at bat that led to the the two run single that gave you guys the the lead? I've uh, double. double. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, you know, my first at bat, similar situation, I think, with, uh, with 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 guys on base, you know, coming up in kind of a big spot and and flying out the center field, and um, I think it was the fourth inning, maybe coming back up again, and those guys again doing a great job of of having good at bats ahead of me and getting on base and give me an opportunity uh, uh, to drive them in and. Just, um, you know, I think he threw me several splits down, and I think I fouled one off early in the count and, and took a couple and um, ran the count to full and, and got a good pitch to hit, obviously, and um, just fortunate to I found a little grass in the outfield, full count. So uh, Gio was on first, running, obviously, on the pitch, and, um, you know, it was nice to give us a boost and take the lead there. As I said, the way Nestor was pitching, um, we just wanted to get one or two and, and let him settle in. So it was nice to be able to, to come through there for the team. Brett, do you think that double is something you can build off of to turn the corner offensively? Yeah, I hope so. I mean, I've been um, I've been feeling much better, um, you know, physically than than the numbers show. Um, just continuing to work and continuing to try to find ways to to produce and help the team, obviously. And um, you know, this is a tough game. It's a frustrating game, and uh, nobody knows that. Uh, any better than me um, you know it's um, one of those things that when things aren't going good they just continue to they seem to continue to to pile on and sometimes you you're not sure if you'll find your way out of it or not but um, yeah I mean I feel good at the plate I'm seeing the ball well I feel good about my work and hopefully um, you know hopefully you know that is the that is the one that kind of sparks things and get things going in the right direction for me because obviously um, 
you know, these are important games against good opponents and uh, very important for us to finish strong before the break.